Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's Lynette Wolf and no Brian Wolf today. Just Lynette Wolf. <laughs> so I get to do more of the talking. Isn't that fantastic? So we are here actually at a vacant house and I'm going to go through the numbers with you and uh, get ready because I'm going to actually go through the numbers with you and I'm also going to go through um, the things that we're going to do a pretty house polish on. So get your pen and paper ready. Um, hello, Kevin. So pretty house polish. And then I'm um, also going to go through, we have a open house, a one hour open house. And uh, the one hour open house is actually, we can either do it virtual or in person. And we're going to show you how we do it in today's marketplace. Okay. So I'm going to go through some steps today on getting ready for the one hour open house. So whether it's a virtual one hour open house or a real one hour open house, okay? I'm gonna go through a couple steps that we do the day before, and then I'm gonna go through some interior staging that we do uh, to make it uh, that much more uh, sellable, okay? So I'm gonna try to get through a lot today because I don't wanna go too long. Uh, hi, Terry, hi, Carl, Peter, Anika. Good to see you guys. Steven, all right. So um, like I said, I'm super excited. So what I'm gonna do is we're actually on this house here. Hi, Lenny. We're doing a, um, we're gonna do a 1031 exchange. We have, it's just a great marketplace right now with the interest rates so low. We have five buyers, tenant buyers, uh, lease purchase buyers that are trying to cash us out right now. So we're getting ready because we want to do some 1031 exchanges because as you know, some of these houses we have owned a long time and they have a ton of principal buy down. So we're going to need uh, to put the cash somewhere. So what a great marketplace right now to be a buyer and a seller. I mean, we are just ecstatic about this marketplace. Hello, Lori. Hello, Linda, Denise, and Don. Hi, Don. Anyway, um, so I like it when you guys engage and uh, any participation, I'm mean, trying to answer your questions. So don't, don't be shy about your comments and thank you for saying hi and where you're from. Okay, so I'm going to first give you a quick tour um, and go through the numbers on this house. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pick you up here. There you go. Okay, so let's start now. This is, like I said, this house here they're asking $280,000, okay, $280,000, and it's worth about three twenty-five. dollars okay, it's in a great location, uh, this house was built in uh, 1999, I believe, and um, it's three bedroom, two bath, we usually prefer four bedroom, but it's a cute split floor plan, three bedroom, two bath, and um, we're gonna do a 1031 in all cash. So a 1031 is an all cash deal. So we're coming in at 240, okay? Uh, 240 all cash, it's worth 325 and it doesn't need a lot of work. Just a, a pretty house polish. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do. So um, here is, let's see, we're walking in the front door, okay? And here we have the spacious uh, family room slash dining room over there. So this is what they call the great room concept. And um, great room because it doesn't have a family room and a living room. So when you have a house, a lot of times you'll have a formal living room and a family room and a dining room. Well, this house, they put the family room and living room together, so they call that a great room, okay? So that's called the great room. And uh, it does have a little uh, nook area slash dining room area so it's not huge it's just a three bedroom two bath like 1500 square feet and uh, this house is a brand new paint and you can see they actually put in um, ceiling fans that look good so I'm okay with the paint and the flooring is tile I'm okay with this flooring so you can see it's a really real pretty house and they already put new um they put window treatments in. They didn't do the wooden blinds, uh, but they put some uh, window treatments in here. And you can see here when you walk in, whoops. So you're walking in this way and uh, 
This here is the kitchen. There we go. And you can see they put uh, brand new appliances in there. You have a radiant cooktop. That's a black radiant cooktop, a black microwave, a stainless steel sink, and, and a black dishwasher. Um, the cabinets are light oak. Um, what we're gonna do to the cabinets, you guys, is when you put little handles on those cabinets, it makes a huge difference, okay? See how they're, they're kind of flat panel, light oak cabinets, um, but they are in good shape, and so we're probably gonna just doctor them up. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done that. Uh, no, this is not a seller refinance. Terry is not a uh, seller refinance home or a rehab. We're looking for money. Um, for a 1031 exchange. So this is an all cash deal, okay? It's a pretty house all cash. It's worth about 325. Uh, we're going in at 240. So uh, waiting to hear back on getting the contract accepted. It doesn't need any work except the only thing I would do is the countertops. These are those cheap uh, for mica countertops. So what we're gonna do is granite countertops. Okay, it's not a whole lot of granite countertops. It's not gonna cost us much at all. I actually have a quote from our contractor right now on what that will run us and it's not gonna be much at all because it's a small kitchen. Okay, so you can see here that uh, it's, oh, and the black, there's the uh, brand new, it's all brand new appliances. So you've got the uh, refrigerator there. Now here in Arizona, it's kind of common on these uh, smaller starter homes to have um, washer dryer in the garage. I know you guys aren't you guys aren't from Arizona, but we see this a lot. So in the garage here, we have it's a two car garage, and um, we have the uh, the washer dryer out here. Oops, I'm trying to show you guys. There we go. So the washer dryer is right here, actually in the garage. And another big benefit. Um, of this is there's some built-in cabinets there. People like a lot of storage. So it's a little bigger than a normal two-car garage. And it's hot in here, so I'm not staying. <laughs> and um, so what I love about this floor plan is it's a split floor plan. People love the fact that the master is on this side of the house uh, with a bathroom, and then the other two bedrooms are over on this side of the house, okay? So let's go in the master first, okay? What is the room behind the refrigerator? Oh, okay, over here. Well, then I have to go over to the two, okay, we'll start with the two secondary bedrooms. Uh, Steven, that's what's behind it, behind the uh, refrigerator. So this is a coat closet going down the hallway. Remember I told you it's a split floor plan? So here you have the secondary bathroom. And the secondary bathroom here, um, we're, see how we're gonna do the granite countertops in the kitchen? So obviously we're gonna hit the granite countertops here. Um, I think the two-tone faucets are okay. You've got the gold, they're not great, but I think it's okay. They already did the two-tone, the gold and the chrome faucet, the two-tone here. So, you know, they instead of lever handles, uh, they did these, which, isn't my best choice, we may switch that out because it's so cheap. So here is the bedrooms. Now, the bedrooms are gonna look a whole lot bigger. I'm gonna go through staging in a minute, but the bedrooms will look a whole lot bigger once we put uh, like a standing plant in the corner. We'll usually put like a little chair. Um, when you put pictures on the wall, when you put a little furniture in a room, it actually looks bigger. Um, so. Uh, let's see, it looks beautiful as always. Okay, oh, <laughs> that's Brian. Um, and then here's the other secondary bedroom. So you can see they've already done the uh, raised panel doors. These are the two panel, they call it two panel raised panel doors. Um, once again, I would have put levers on here. The carpet's good, the, the flooring, the paint. So really, the only thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to the master. Uh, the only thing we're gonna do here is um, the uh, granite countertops, which is not gonna run much. So it's really a pretty house, it's ready to go. And this is actually quite a spacious master, uh, especially for a 1500 square foot home. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is a really nice master. And like I said, people love the split floor, split floor plan. Here we go. Can you guys see? Okay, so here, this is good because you have the double sinks. That's a big one. Double sinks in the master bathroom. Of course, you have the, uh, the tub here, it's cultured marble, and the separate shower, and a huge walk-in closet. Oopsie, there we go. Huge walk-in closet. There we go. Okay, so um, walking through the closet here. Anyway, that's a lot of good space. Hi, Kyle, how you doing? Denise, Denise from Mesa. What's a virtual one hour open house? A virtual one hour open house is where we still do it for one hour from two to three on Saturday. But what we do is um, we actually uh, do it virtually. So we go on StreamYard like we are right now. And we, actually kind of what I'm doing here, uh, Ryan and I walk around with the camera. StreamYard goes to five different social media platforms at once simultaneously. So right now we're streaming, I think, on three different platforms. But during our one hour open house, we do five different platforms simultaneously. And um, so what we do is we answer questions like you guys are asking questions. So on the virtual one hour open house, these are buyers asking us questions. They'll say, well, I have bad credit. Is that OK? So we'll do a couple quick tours during the one hour open house uh, virtual and then we'll answer all the questions and stuff. So it's really exciting. It's actually, we actually have a whole system that we teach on the one hour open house. So I'm gonna try to go through some, a very small part of it right now, cause I only have so much time, but um, I'm gonna try to go through, this looks like our house. Oh yeah, it does look like the house on Ramana. Brian, I won't let Brian on, so he's commenting <laughs> under the wool couple. Um, I told him, I said, I wanna do this one myself so I can do more talking. Okay, so let's talk about, oh, I didn't show you the backyard. Okay, hold on. Let me go to the backyard. So the virtual one hour open house is cool and I would love to spend like just a ton of time explaining that, but I can't get into it too much. I love this low maintenance backyard. This is huge. People love low maintenance. Look at that. There is actually the only grass is fake grass. Let me see if I can show you guys the backyard. Um, so what's cool is people love the fact that it's low maintenance, okay? Now, another thing I love is that you can see it's very private. People like the fact that it's a private backyard and it's low maintenance, okay? And um, this is perfect for entertaining. So if you like to entertain, what I would do, oh, there's so much great things you could do. Do you guys have any ideas how we would stage this up, the backyard? Who's got some ideas? Who's got some ideas on how we would stage this up? Nobody's talking to me. <laughs> um, this is perfect for entertaining. Couple things we would do here. We have this really cool uh, water well um, and it's got like a old fashioned bucket and you put it like right here. And um, it's like a little, it's like a water, a water feature. It's a little water feature that we move from house to house. Fire pit, yeah, there you go, Denise. Um, a couple of, yeah, that's right. Barbecue picnic tables now with snacks. Yeah, so what we do is actually, we, do, we don't do the picnic tables, but we put in um, the round um, metal, you know, the the normal, um, forget what you call those loungers with the chairs and um, table on the grass. That's a good idea. Oh yeah, so we put the round table, uh, like you said, Stephen, with the big umbrella.
the stream. Oh, there. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, everybody. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? Are you guys there? Hello, hello, I'm back. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me. All right, I need to see somebody say hi. Hi, Lynette, hi, Lynette, okay. So um, I walked in the backyard and I was going a little too far from the internet there, so I lost you guys, but I am back and I just wanna make sure you guys are back. Can you hear me okay? Uh, hmm, that's weird. Let me see if you guys, let me call Brian and see if I'm back on. There we go. Let's see here. It looks like I'm back in um, 18 minutes. So I should be back in, but I don't see. Okay. I'm calling Brian, because I don't see any comments. That's weird. I don't, honey? Hi, you're on speaker. I'm back in the, I'm back in the stream, but I just, I can't see any comments. Can you see me? No, they're in. I'm in, I'm watching you. Oh, you can see me. I was watching you until you called me, yeah, you're in. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Because I didn't see any comments coming. So I, I told I people. Sent one. Oh, really? Okay. So there's yeah. something weird about my comments. Okay. All right. But we're in. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I can't see the comments, but that's okay. I am in. All right. So I'm going to get back right to it here. Um, I cannot go in the backyard that far because that's where I lost the internet. Okay. So I'm going to go through. Um, let's get set up. This is the day before the one hour open house, um, or the day before the, uh, uh, the virtual one hour open house. So you're there doing a virtual or a one hour open house. Now, the first thing I want to go through is make sure that you have your countertop sales force ready. Okay. Your countertop sales force is what you have on the countertop. Okay. There, now I got comments. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um, so make sure that, um, number one, uh, number two, if you're doing it live, we're going to have um, cookie dough and we're going to bake cookies. So whether you have a Otis Spunkmeyer little oven, which we used to bring from house to house or just use the normal oven. Hi, everybody. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> Thanks for being patient. Um, so uh, you want to get set up because uh, we have cookies and we make it an open house party. So um and when you're doing it virtual, uh, you wouldn't need to worry about the cookies and the party element. So we're kind of doing both. Um, now you do wanna, no matter what, we're gonna order four to six uh, balloon bunches because I'm gonna talk about why and how. So this is the day before the one hour open house. And you wanna go ahead and get all, you wanna have your arrow signs, your pointer signs to the house. Uh, write them out ahead of time and put the sticks in. Use one of those mega Sharpies. We like the handwritten, okay, ugly, but legible, okay? And we're gonna show you how we have uh, the arrow signs leading people into the community and into the house, and you don't wanna lose them. Be very careful that those arrow signs are placed where you don't lose them. And another good tip to write down is we put helium balloons on our arrow signs, and that draws attention to them, okay? Um, now, we also, a lot of times at the uh, open house, we'll let our mortgage broker come. Now, it depends um, when we're doing a, uh, it depends on the exit strategy, but if we're trying to push somebody through the house quicker, uh, you know, kind of do a little hand holding, get them qualified sooner, we'll bring a mortgage broker right here to the house, to the one hour open house. And he'll sit down with um, the lease purchase buyers right there and then. So depending on the situation, and they're happy to do it because um, they get uh, the business. I mean, that's what a mortgage broker loves is BC paper, they call it. Um, and that's a client who can't qualify right away to get a house. So we put them in a house and they're extra motivated because they're already living in the house, their dream home. We're helping them as they qualify. And so the mortgage broker loves those kind of people, those buyers. They're very motivated to do what they need to do. So, um, now, also, I could talk for a whole day on the social media and all the things we do to drive traffic to the one-hour open house or the virtual one-hour open house, but 
we'll come back to that. Okay, let's go to interior staging, okay? We have little kits that we have from house to house, and they're nothing big. I mean, you can go to a swap meet and get a couple of things. It's, it's really not a big deal uh, to have these mini staging kits that we move from house to house. Um, and uh, write this down. On the interior open house staging kit, the five P's, okay, the five P's, which are really important, are plants, pictures, pots, plugins, and who knows the last one? Who knows the last P? There's five P's. I'm gonna see if somebody can guess this. Pictures, plants, pots, plugins, and who knows? I'm waiting for the right answer. Okay, somebody will say it in a minute. Okay, so then on the countertop sales floors, write this down. This is what we have on the countertop sales floors. We're gonna put, number one, you're gonna have the house marketing flyer. That's gonna be right here on the counter, okay? Um, I'm not getting comments. I bet somebody got the right answer on the five Ps. The fifth P was posters. And that's where we tell the whole neighborhood that we buy and sell houses. We get a ton of deals because of when we sell a house to a buyer, they tell their friends and family. And when we buy a house from a seller, they tell their friends and family and neighbor. So we get a ton of deals because of our referral. We actually have a referral card and everything. We are big on referrals. So the poster talks about that. And if you guys want, maybe I can um, send you a picture of that. So. Um, the five P's again are plants, pictures, pots, plugins, and posters. Here's the countertop sales force. Number one, you're going to have the house marketing flyer, and that's very crucial. And you're going to have them in color, have them look professional on the right paper. And Brian talks, Brian teaches a lot about that because those, those house marketing flyers are huge that they're done correctly, including from the picture. Um, so many times we, we see people not taking the right picture of the front of the house. Um, they'll like have too much garage, not enough house. Uh, is the sun setting or is the sun on the house? They show too much street in the front picture. Anyway, I can go on and on, but Brian goes over that. Number two, you're going to have the next step form. This is the countertop sales force. Okay, number two is the next step form. Form. Number three is the lease application, okay? And we use ScreenTheTenant.com with Paul, Paul Ritter, Paul and Joanne Ritter, ScreenTheTenant.com, okay? Number four, this is really important to have the program flyer. Now, we have a special program flyer because it really explains the lease purchase um, deal, which is what we love. Uh, helping out buyers get qualified for the house. They get to move in the house, live in the house, enjoy the house. So that's number four is our special program flyer, okay? Number five, uh, we have the home page of the website printed out, that's optional. Number six, of course you have a stack of your professional business cards. We're big on professional, okay? So on the professional business card, we do give out a $250 referral fee. Remember I told you like uh, neighbors, sellers, oh here, this is one of our uh, door hangers that we do. So it says here, you'll notice that it says there's open house, uh, cash, bring this in and you get $10, uh, rent to own, bad credit, okay, no banks needed, one hour open house Saturday, two to three. And then this is where uh, cash and prizes, this is where you would put uh, the address of the house. So you can either pre-print these. Um, now, I know somebody, uh, we know a company actually, we usually use Christy King for everything. She's the yellow letter lady. But we happen to know a company who's running a special right now. You can get 5,000 door hangers, 5,000 door hangers for $169. Yes, 5,000 door hangers, $169 and it's called ladyprinting.com. So if somebody wants to type that, they just happen to be running a special right now, it's called ladyprinting.com, and they're awesome. Um, so anyway, so we got number one, house marketing flyer, number two was the next step, number three is lease application, number four was our program flyer, which is special, 
Number five is optional. That's the homepage website printed out. Number six, stack of your professional business cards. Number seven, this is the key. Put a star by number seven, the buyer referral cards. And that's why, remember I said we get so many deals uh, from buyers and sellers that we've worked with in the past. That's very important. And the last number eight is have lots of pins around and clipboards. So that's kind of the countertop sales force. And um, so we're super excited. Look at that, pots, pictures, plants, posters, and nobody guessed it. Wait, wait, who guessed it? We do have somebody who guessed it. Pictures, pots, plants, oh, posters. So we have a winner, Stephen and Terry, both, who said pickles? <laughs> Nancy said pickles. That's hilarious. All right. So anyway, um, I took way too long. I'm almost like half an hour now and I was supposed to do it in 15 minutes. So this is, um, I'm going to keep you posted. This is the 1031 exchange that we want to do on this house here. We'll let you know what happens. We're super excited. We love doing uh, these uh, Thursday lives out in the field. Thursday live with the wolves and um, this is Lynette Wolf, and I'm hauling for your success. And you guys um, expect success. Take action. Get out there. This is just a phenomenal marketplace to be a buyer and a seller right now. And we will see you brunch with Brian Monday through Friday. Brunch with Brian is 1130 uh, a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, we'll see you teaching Tuesday and Wolf Bite Wednesday and every Thursday. So. Once you're part of the, the Wolf family, you're always part of the Wolf Pack. So this is Lynette Wolf saying goodbye. Mwah. And we will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for all you guys that interacted. I appreciate it.